Hey everybody, this is Stephen Rice here from That Stephen Rice on YouTube, on Instagram, on every single social media that exists in the world. Uh, not really, I kind of avoid a lot of it. Either way, I'm here. Uh, like I promised on my last video, we're doing a time lapse of the painting of this piece that's right up here. Which is a remake of my original Freddy Krueger piece I did from 2012. Uh, it was something I just did kind of impromptu after moving to Colorado and not being very happy with where I was in my life. So I decided that it was time for me to start going ahead and trying to make something of all of the art school training that I have had over the years. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead. We're going to jump right into super time lapse time and uh, let's see where it takes us because I'm not quite sure myself yet. All right, so we're at the time-lapse portion here um, when it comes down to the painting. Just to give you a little backing of what's kind of going on. The sketch was done about a year or so ago. That's on the first layer. Then I have a second blank layer, which is the one I'm painting on. And then I have my texture that I always throw over top um, to give it kind of a canvasy feel. So as you can see, I'm working very lightly. I'm using a default Photoshop airbrush that detects tilt, so it's one of those special kind of airbrushes, but it's not something you have to pay for or anything like that. It's something that came with Photoshop. I'm going over with just light colors and I'm building from the midtone all the way down to the shadows over top of the actual sketch itself, which is the important thing to achieve this kind of style, because you'll still see the sketch underneath but eventually it all kind of blends together and you can't tell where the sketch is, where the paint is because I'm working just with airbrush this entire time until later, which will be in the second video. Speaking of second video, it is going to be two videos because I've been recording this and uh, didn't want this video to be longer than about nine, ten minutes or so and with the time lapse I'm around eight minutes, so that's why I'm keeping it. Boom, right there. Nothing nothing more than the, uh, that. So there's going to be a second video coming out next week that's going to be all about the colored penciling and the highlights and stuff like that that I do. So look forward to that coming out sometime next week. But right now, I'm just trying to get texture and trying to get the color down. And I ran into some issues when it came to his sweater. Uh, mostly, I just, I'm just i not happy with where, where it ended up. And you'll see I leave the sweater for a bit and I go work on the glove and I work on the face and I'm doing everything I can do <laughs> to avoid working on that sweater more. Um, opacity wise on the brushes, just so you're aware, is a 50% opacity on the brushes and 100% on the flow. I used to do it opposite of that, but for some reason this just works better when you're going over top of the art. Not sure if it's my imagination or not, but there it is. Uh, occasionally you'll see I turn off the sketch layer just to see how things are holding up because the sketch layer is kind of like the glue but if their painting looks completely terrible without the sketch in my opinion it kind of means you have to work a little bit more on the painting side of things so I do that every now and then and you will see I pull up the reference image uh, it'll flicker up every so often here and there just because I sometimes I forget you know how deep certain scars were and everything and I just always have it there just in case. So right there you, you saw it pop up <laughs> for a little bit because I was like exactly how dark of an orangish yellow was his glove in the reference image so I popped that up took a quick look at it and I'm trying to get it right. I used to color pick colors quite a bit when I was first learning this technique. I'd have the reference on the screen and I would just kind of color pick directly from there but I decided as I got better and better at it to not do that anymore and just work on my own eye and work to make the painting feel more to my sensibility which is slowly my way of trying to figure out my own style because if you've been following this channel at any point you know that when I first started doing the paintings and stuff like that I really really wanted to emulate Drew Struzan's style so badly. <laughs> I would do everything I could to try to emulate that digitally and it it's something where there's much better artists than, than I am who can 
replicate it very, very well um, when it comes down to people like Kyle Lambert. He has it down to a science. I talked with him via email a few times about it, just you know, tra- trading notes back and forth because we were both um, trying to figure out Drew Stuzan's style around the same time. He was working on the Stranger Things artwork at the same time I was trying to just learn the style and we just kind of threw some ideas back and forth <laughs> as to you know how did he get a certain you know technique and everything especially with him using 99% of the time him using an iPad I was just like I need to learn teach me <laughs> teach me some of the stuff that you're doing here and uh, it, was a, it was a good conversation I really like Kyle he's a good guy so I as I was doing that though I realized I want to have that kind of style but I also want to have my own style more than anything i want people to come to me and be like i like what you do and i want that for my movie poster i like what you do i want you to do me a portrait i want a portrait from you in your style i want a poster from you in your style so that's where i'm kind of at in my career and that's where i want to be when it comes down to it is i want i want people to be like that's you know what that's a steve rice piece i know that's a steve rice piece and uh, it'd be amazing once I get to that point. And I'm going to keep plugging away and I'm going to keep trying. Um, you may notice that uh, it went from day to night really quick. <laughs> and uh, that's just because I've been record- I was recording this. It's only two and a half hours worth of actual paint time. But I don't get much time to paint when my son's not around. You saw him running around in the background a little bit. And he's been having problems at school and stuff. So uh, I had to do the dad thing and I had to pay a lot more attention to him and keep him on track and keep things kind of moving there um just to be the dad like i said this this channel is about my art but it's also about being a single dad and an artist at the same time and trying to juggle the two but uh we're coming up on the end here um <laughs> last bit of freaking sweater i start working on and i just don't want to do it don't want to do it at all but uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll fix it at some point. Probably in the color pencil stage, I'm going to fix that sweater and make it actually look like a sweater. But uh, I do want to thank you so much for watching. Part two is going to be coming next week. Please like, subscribe, share, do all that kind of stuff. I'm that Stephen Rice, and thanks for watching.